Okay guys, I cannot believe that it's already April. I literally feel like 2023 has already started, but we're closer to the halfway mark than we are to the beginning of the year. And I don't know what it is about this time of year, but like, I think we just all get a little bit antsy about our planner systems with the changing weather, like we have different needs or we just want different colors or adding more color. So I thought what better way to kick off spring than to talk about my current favorite huh? items and what I'm going to be using this coming spring. Okay, so the first one I'm going to start off with is a bit of a pricier item, but I promise you guys that in the long run, especially like if you're really into planners and the planner community and trying different planners, it's definitely going to be worth it. And that is this hardcore guillotine trimmer. So you guys know if you guys have been following my channel that one of my like must have items that I've had and talked about on my channel forever, channel channel forever is this Fiskars trimmer. I've literally mentioned it probably like a million times on this channel and it's because it's my go-to and if you're into printables like you obviously have to have a trimmer and this one is amazing but the problem with this is that it only cuts a few pieces of paper at a time so like I think like max three I usually do or else the edges get a little bit frayed, right? So I've been thinking about getting like a guillotine style trimmer for a long time and reading a lot of reviews and like I just didn't want something that wasn't gonna work very well, whether it was like not cutting in a straight line or like not being able to cut that many pages anyways. So I finally took the plunge and got this one. I was really excited when I found this one because it has amazing reviews. It can cut a lot of paper at a time, so it's super versatile. So how I'll be using it and how I have been using it is one, like I really like pre-cut paper. So for example, like A5 paper, if you're using A5 rings, you wanna just print directly onto pre-cut paper, right? Or even personal A6, whatever size you want. It's always easier to print like just onto pre-cut paper so you don't have to trim each individual insert or whatever afterwards. And if you wanna buy like pre-cut A5 paper on Amazon, at least in Canada, the options are super limited and it's like, I think it's like $30 for a stack of like 50 paper pages, like 50, that's it. Like I'll go through 50 pages in like a day, just like printing random stuff, you know? So now with this guillotine cutter, I can just take the US letter paper that I buy in like big bulk stacks. I'll link below as well as everything else, my favorite papers, but I can just trim down the US letter paper into A5 personal whatever. And you guys know that I'm always bouncing around between sizes. And that was the other thing too, is if I like buy a lot of A5 paper, like I might not be using it the next week. So now I can cut whatever size I want. And then the other thing with this that I think you guys would be excited about is I know everybody recently, at least it feels like, have been trimming down their A5 notebooks, usually like a Stalogy, down to a standard TN size. And like, I'm just so lazy to go find like a print shop or whatever, or a cutting shop or staples to actually like trim the books for me. And we know how we like to try out different types of notebooks. So I know I'd be going back and forth all the time to get my notebooks trimmed, but this guillotine trimmer will be able to trim my notebooks. So now I can just buy as many stylages as I want and then cut them at home by myself, which I am so excited about. So that's the first item that I've been really loving. And again, like I mentioned, I will link everything that I talk about down in the description below if you're interested in anything. Okay, so now on to my second item, which probably isn't gonna be big news for any of you guys who have been watching my channel. And that is the Hobonichi Cousin Spring Edition. So this is actually my first cousin and I got it in the Spring Edition just to try out. And so originally I wasn't sure if I was gonna like this because I'm definitely used to a smaller size. Like my go-to is kind of the personal ring size. So you can tell like the difference in the pages or even like a pocket size, which is even smaller than this. So I just wasn't sure if the A5 size was gonna work for me. I just figured it was too much paper. <laughs> um, but I've actually been really loving it. So let me just show you. Like this was the first week in it. I don't know if you can see. And I haven't really been minding when there's like open space and I'm just not going to force myself to like fill it up just for 
the purpose of aesthetics. I really want to use it functionally. And I talked about it in my last video that I'll link up here. I always forget which side it is. It might be on this side. Um, of how I'm going to be doing the GTD method and how I am doing the GTD method in this planner. And that was the other thing is that I wasn't sure how I was going to implement getting things done in a notebook because I've always done it in like rings or whatever or discs or something that I can just like add and remove pages. But that system has been really working out well for me. So I think I'll be sticking in this for a little while, hopefully. <laughs> so I'm loving that. And I won't talk about it too much here. I'll let you guys go over there. But basically like the other worry was like all of the big daily pages and how I was going to use them because I definitely won't fill up one of these huge A5 pages every single day. And it's a dated planner, right? But um, you know, I'm using them kind of as no pages and it's really been working out well. Again, you can check out that video if you want to know more about the system. Okay, so that segues into my next item, which is this fountain pen. And you guys might recognize it as the pilot vanishing point but it is not so this is actually a dupe for it and I am a fountain pen newbie so I just couldn't bring myself to spend that much money on a pen especially when you guys know my fountain pen struggles so I just wasn't sure what I liked and what I don't like so I ended up getting this dupe and I am really loving it. So, you know, I don't know how close it is to the actual vanishing point and I'm sure there's differences or whatever, but the design and everything to me looks the exact same and based on the reviews is quite similar. And what I've actually found that I actually love and it's something good to know is this design is a little bit different from the traditional fountain pens in that it has a clip, right? You can actually get one without a clip, but I went with the one that has a clip. And then on the clip side is actually where the nib comes out so it's a bit of a unique design and after getting this one I realized that I actually really like this design because not only do you have like the clip to clip it onto a pen holder but I really do like it um, to use the clip as a grip and I just find it's actually a lot more comfortable than the other pens that I have so even just like knowing that I find is like a really big bonus and I'm sure at some point if I continue to use this pen I will probably invest in the actual pilot vanishing point but yeah so really loving this I don't know what the actual name is I can't really pronounce it so just check the description box below but it actually comes with a converter and it's really easy to fill up your ink even for a newbie like me I've had no issues and like I've refilled it twice now um so yeah really love this okay so that leads me to the next item which is inks and oh my gosh how beautiful is this ink packaging first of all and then let me show you the bottle how beautiful is that like I am new to fountain pens and inks, like I said, but wow, I have been looking at a lot of inks and a lot of pens and all of that stuff, but I haven't come across like bottles as beautiful as this. Like I've purchased quite a couple bottles in the past couple of months, but this is just so pretty. Like I want to keep this bottle when I'm done. And this is the Ferris wheel press in the color glistening glass. And if you guys follow me over on Instagram, you will have heard me ranting on about how I just like wasn't sure if I liked my writing in the black ink or with a fountain pen, yet I loved everybody else's writing in it. So I kept like pushing and trying to use the fountain pen. And a lot of you guys suggested that I use a um, lighter color. And this is just like a blue gray color, which is just so pretty. I tried gray and it's just like gray is kind of boring. It just felt like it was like the black ink was kind of drying up or whatever. But this one with the blue, I just like love, 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 love. It's just so pretty. And I'm just really loving it in my Hobonichi cousin as like an accent color even or like for journaling. And it just like, I don't know, bring some like fun and prettiness to my writing because you guys know I eternally struggle with my writing. So that's that one. Okay guys, so the next item that I have been finding so useful and has been such a game changer and lifesaver for me recently, please do not click off this video and think I'm like super boring, but it is this calculator. Okay, so you might think that this looks like a regular calculator, but it is not. So it has this LED type screen on the side and over here, there's this little 
area where you pull out and it is the stylus. How cool is that? And then you can write on here. You see that? Isn't that so cool? Okay, so let me explain. Now, some of you guys might know that I am a CPA for my day job or whatever, and we're actually not that good at math. We're just good at using a calculator to crunch numbers. And so I do find throughout the day, a lot of the time I do need to make little calculations and like I don't just track them in my head. Like I actually have to use a calculator. And sometimes I'll be making a calculation and I need to write that number down before I like crunch some other number. And then I have to like find a piece of paper or a notepad or, and especially when I'm in a meeting is when I find this the most annoying is that I don't have a random piece of paper or scrapbook or whatever, right? Like now we don't have our own offices and we just go in and use whatever desk, like the whole open concept hoteling style. And so a lot of the times I don't have things sitting on my desk and it's really annoying to find a piece of paper to write that number on. And so this has honestly been such a game changer when I'm at work and I need to make a quick calculation or just jot down a, a quick number on a scrap piece of paper, I can use this calculator and I just write it on the LED screen with the stylus that's included and I don't need to bring anything else, which is just so nice. And then the other nice thing about this is that you don't have to worry about the LED screen just like clearing itself because you can actually put it on lock mode, which then will save everything on that LED screen as is so that you can't clear it. And then what I like to do is I just like take those notes and I bring it back to my desk. And when I'm in front of my computer and I'm ready to write everything down and kind of like the final version, then I can use it there and then I'll clear it when I'm all done. Or of course you can have an unlock and just clear it as you go if you're just making notes that you don't need to keep track of. Isn't that so genius? So this calculator is by a company called New Yes, and they have so many cool innovative products like this that are for like planning, organization and whatever. So you guys should totally check them out. Like this is just like been such a game changer for me. So any of you guys out there who deal with numbers or if you're a student or if you have kids who are in school, like I just, I love this calculator. Also it, it duels as like kind of like a fun thing for my kids kids who are young but you know they always want to work like mommy and so I give it to them and they just love like crunching numbers on it or pretending to crunch numbers and then also being able to draw on the side which is really nice so love this okay so on to the next thing which is the planner that has been bringing me the most joy now this planner I have not been using daily or using the most but it's bringing me the most joy because I've actually kept up with what I said that I was going to with my journaling so I use my digital planner as a journal and I love it. I've talked about it a lot because I can just type on it. I can insert photos. Then I print it out into half letter size and I punch it and put it in my half letter discs. So that's what it kind of looks like. And I've just been loving like flipping through the pages. I talked about how I'm not very good at journaling and also that I'm really into like photos to look for memories because I have two young girls. So I've just been loving flipping through these pages and it just brings me so much joy. The other thing is like this planner is just like so pretty with this clear frosted cover. Again, I've talked about these as well. These are by the brand called Eagle and I got them off Amazon. Again, I'll link everything down below, but they're so inexpensive. I think it was like $11 Canadian for both the front and the back. It's so sturdy. It's not like the see-through glass. So it like doesn't show scratches and whatnot. I've had like the glass ones and after you have it for a little bit, like the glass thing gets kind of scratched up and it doesn't look as nice. So I love this. And I just added these two inch black discs that I got from AliExpress. It did come with like smaller discs, like smaller plastic discs, but the metal disc makes such a big difference for being able to turn the pages and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I've just been really loving this. I put all my printed pages in here and then I've kind of been adding like more long-term things in here as well, just because I want to use it more. Um, and I think you guys might see this more and more on my channel or over on my Instagram as I try to figure out more ways to use this because I am just like loving the setup so much. So the next thing is for my TN lovers out there. 
I have recently posted a video about my passport traveler's notebook setup that I'm using as my wallet and on the go and for traveling. And I like to have printables to make little booklets for my traveler's notebook, just because I like to have a little layout. I don't like to like have to draw everything. I'm not artistic. Anyways, it's just easier if I can have some sort of spread already ready for me. I talked about it in this video over here. You can check it out if you want to, my whole setup and everything. But to make those little booklets in order to like staple it, you can't just staple it with like a little re regular stapler because it doesn't reach far enough to the middle. So I got this long arm stapler and it comes with these like heavy duty staples as well. So they've been so great. If I wanna make a thicker notebook, I can use these super sturdy staples that punch through like everything. Or if I'm just making a smaller booklet, I can just insert like regular staples in there and it works just fine. It was really inexpensive. So highly recommend for anybody who wants to make little booklets and whatnot for their traveler's notebook or junk journals or whatever it is. So that's that one. And then lastly, if you guys have been wondering this whole video, why I have this long hair, it's actually not because I magically grew it out, even though it probably looks like my real hair. These are actually clip-in extensions from Irresistible Me, and they are not sponsoring this video, but, but they did offer to send these to me for free to try out and share with you guys if I liked it. And oh my gosh, I am in love. So after I had my girls, I kind of kept my hair a bit shorter and trimmed it shorter. Whereas previously I've always had long hair and that's just because I just don't have as much time in the morning to do it anymore. And I actually have really fine, really straight, like pin straight hair. So when I have long hair and then it's pin straight and like I can't do anything with it, I literally look like the girl from The Grudge, like no joke. Um, so that's why I cut my hair short. But I really miss long hair sometimes, especially like in the springtime, I just like really miss long hair because it's not like so hot out yet that like your long hair will be sticky or whatever, but it just like looks so nice as you start to wear like, you know, you can start wearing dresses inside and whatnot. I just like, I don't know, I really miss my long hair. And I'm as indecisive with my hair as I am with my planners in that like, as soon as I start to grow it out a little bit, I wanna trim it and as soon as I trim it, like I wish I had long hair. So these clip-in extensions are just perfect for me. I have the 16 inch volume set and I'm literally obsessed and I'm so happy because they are made of 100% natural hair. I got the color natural black. It matches my hair perfectly and it just like, it actually feels like hair obviously because it is but the other thing that i like i love about it is that like i said i have really fine hair and so like having these extensions in them like it just makes my hair more voluminous and i literally didn't have to do anything with my hair and it just like looks like it has so much volume whereas previously you have to do a full blowout i have to put all this like stuff in my hair i sometimes had to back comb it to get it a bit of volume so these are just a lifesaver because they're made of natural hair you can curl them and everything but i don't know for anybody like who wants to try out long hair or like also sometimes wants long hair sometimes wants short hair these are just amazing really highly recommend and that is the only item that i have today where i am loving that is not related to planners and stationery but i thought you guys might love it out there because i know a lot of my audience is female so check them out again i'll link everything down below and i think they offer me a five percent discount for my viewers so if you guys want to use that you can as well Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, you, you guys might wanna check out some of my other favorite stationary items that I'll link right over here. You can check out that video and I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.